Hi, I'm Pat Wilson. I'm a physical therapist at Methodist Physicians Clinic at Health West. In a previous exercise blog, we went over the negative effects of sitting and what it does to your system. Today we're going to talk about how to get out of your chair, what things, what strategies you can in, employ throughout your day, and just I'll take you through some of my day and what I do to get out of my chair. So the first step is charting how long you're sitting. And folks, let's be honest, we, we sit a lot as a society. Um, I ran across one study that says we sit up to 15 hours in a day. Um, so I want you to chart your, how long your commute is, each way to and from work, um, meal time, how long I'm sitting at meals, TV time, and that can really creep up on us. Uh, work at a desk. How long am I stuck at my desk? What do I do at my desk? And when else do I sit? Helping the kids with homework. I want you to write all that down in black and white and be honest with yourself. Okay folks, first things first. If you're gonna be on your feet for a longer period of time, you gotta change shoes. Unlike my camera person, I've got some sensible shoes at the office and I am prepared to put more time on my feet. Just like Mr. Rogers. And it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. First thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is some simple fixes that you can put in your office for adaptive equipment. Not everybody has the money to purchase a standing desk, but those are out there. Uh, one of the most simple things you can do is get a Swiss ball. This not only has you not leaning back in a chair and resting and having little muscle function, but it makes those postural muscles kick in and elongates your, your spine. One of the other things that I would recommend if you don't have money for a standing desk, is to place a box on your desk. Um, something you can put your keyboard and your mouse on. Since I work in a large corporate hospital, I've got access to bedside tables. You could even use um, adjustable shelving units in your, your cubicle. I can send emails to my friend Katina who's videotaping us right now. The point is getting yourself out of that chair where you can just sit and relax into warm leather and make those muscles work throughout the day. All right, your next task is to make a complete list of things you can do while on your feet at work. You could have standing meetings. Talk to your staff if you've got to have a brainstorming session, go for a walk. I'm sure getting more oxygen in the, that blood system is gonna make you come up with better solutions anyway. Standing between and during reading articles or going over files. If I need to go over patient files, I can stand and do that. Phone time equals feet time. There's no reason you can't do most of your calls while on your feet. Carry this over to home. I do for instance, I do my ironing while watching television. Stand up and move around during commercial breaks. Those are every 15 minutes. Gamers, use the Wii. In between games, get up out of that chair and really, there's no reason why you can't use that joystick or gaming system standing up. The next thing I'd like you to do is make a short list of things that you can do to incorporate exercise and walking into your day, such as delivering notes in person. Good morning. Hi, may I help you? Can you deliver this note to Dr. Shutt? I walked all the way from my office to deliver it to you. Okay, I sure will, thank you. Thank you. Instead of the elevator, take the stairs. Park in the back of the parking lot. And if it's raining, that's a good excuse to run, too.
lastly, a few other things that you can do to remind yourself to get out of the chair. Um, use a simple timer. Put it at 30 minutes, get out of that chair, do a little walk. Your, your smartphone has timers on it, probably has an app for uh, distance walked. Uh, and one of the last things you can do is use a pedometer or a Fitbit. And I would target 10,000 steps as being your goal for the day. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a, a few things about what you can do to get out of that chair more often, things that you can incorporate throughout your day to get more exercise, get more steps, and incorporate a little more activity into your workday. If you have any questions, give your primary care physician a call at Methodist Physicians Clinic.